ramping up their appearances, trying to change more minds. Well, some of them anyway. Others just went on vacation. <laughs> Today's big hard fact, it's exactly 30 days, exactly 30 days until the general elections on February 25th, 2023. One month away. I can still remember when I first started this countdown. Do you remember? More than a year ago. And now we're into the final month. Tensions are high. Voters are tense. INEC is tense. Candidates are tense. For some of you, you're looking for that final piece of information to decide how you vote. And that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here to give you. So let's talk about voters protesting against uh, INEC in Etiosa. And then let's talk about Tinubu claiming sabotage. Are you ready? Let's go. It's the final uh, four days of PVC collection. INEC offices across the country, Nigerians are patiently waiting to get their voters' cards. In some places, they're waiting not so patiently. Uh, in Etiosa local government, I played a video for you earlier on of uh, what people are experiencing trying to pick up their PVCs. <laughs> This happened at Etiosa local government. Voters protested against INEC. They claim INEC is refusing to give them their cards. And uh, I've gotten a lot of complaints about INEC at Etiosa uh, before today. People say that for weeks they've been trying to get their PVCs there. INEC staff, they have not been cooperating, allegedly. And again, just like we did on Eyewitness, I have to ask, have you tried to get your PVC in Etiosa? Were you successful? What was the experience like? And beyond Etiosa, no matter where you are in Lagos, have you gotten your PVC? 0700993993993. So that's that on the one hand. On the other hand, Bola Tinubu made some strong allegations about fuel scarcity and uh, the Naira redesign. He says that they are all part of a plot to stop him from winning the elections. <laughs> when we talked about this on the big three, I asked you whether Tinubu is suggesting that the president who is from his party, is working against him. Because remember, the president hmm, is the petroleum minister. And while the president isn't in charge of the Naira redesign, he's on the record saying that he supports CBN Governor Emifili's move. I'm sure you've seen that video of the president saying that late last year. Meanwhile, the PDP is mocking uh, Tinubu's claim. They say, uh, uh, they said, quote, frustrated by President Muhammad Buhari's unwillingness to attend some of his insipid rallies, Tinubu launched an attack against the president who doubles as the minister of petroleum. It is funny that Tinubu is just commenting over the fuel scarcity, which started in different parts of the country as far back as February 2022. 
In Lagos, where Chinubu claims to be the landlord, the state has been witnessing fail queues since last November. It's therefore dubious of Tinubu to try to extricate himself from the failures of his party because elections are 30 days away. Having seen his imminent defeat at the polls, he's already using false scarcity and Naira redesign as excuses. Tinubu should throw in the towel or get ready to be disgraced on February 25, 2023. A word is enough for the wise. That's the statement from the PDP. PDP is saying Tinubu is using style to remove himself from Buhari's performance, but you know, go walk. Do you agree? 0700993993993. On the news, I told you that uh, Femi Bajabi Amila is threatening to take action against uh, the CBN governor if he doesn't appear before the reps today to defend the Naira redesign. Now, of course, uh, Bajabi Amila is a strong ally of Tinubu. So you have those who are asking whether the National Assembly stands against the redesign is because their leaders are back in Tinubu. You have those who are asking that question. But here's my question. Here's my question. In what ways can this particular candidate, can this policy, these policies, in what ways can it work against a particular candidate and not another? Because I'm thinking about that question that uh, Grandma Princess called in earlier, sorry, sent a message and asked earlier on on WhatsApp. Because Tinubu says... Fear scarcity and narrow redesign are attempts to sabotage him. If he is correct and the narrow redesign is intended to stop him and only him, what is it that is different about Tinubu and his campaign that will make narrow redesign affect him and only him? Do you understand what I'm saying? What is it that is different about Tinubu's campaign that will make Naira redesign affect him and only him. Why is he the only one who has said, maybe the others will say it, but for right now, he's the only one who has said the redesign will is an attempt to sabotage me and plot against me. 0700993-993-993. We've got WhatsApp as well. WhatsApp is 80 <laughs> Ninety-nine point three. Hello. Sorry about that. Call back if you can. Good evening. Hello, Sandra. How you doing? What's your name, sir? My name is Peter. Peter, welcome. Okay, um, Sandra. I don't know why the APC candidates should singly uh, complaining about the redesign of Naira and West Cap. Like you have, you, you have rightly said, or the PDP. It is as a in some sense in Nigeria. And there was no issue. He was busy the election. There's nothing like Lulu. He was not complaining. And now you are accused the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Who happened to be your leader in APC? Well, um, I'm not surprised. Probably he must have seen the handwriting on the wall. Because Nigeria no be Lagos, so uh, no be Lagos, no be my mind, I they go to no be Lagos. Uh -huh. So now for him to um do this, I mean um Femi Bajabia Mila. I don't know what is his business. Why is he so personal with the result, with with this narrow stuff? Huh? Why is your president? Are you against it? After all, if the president did not attend to it, there's no way Nefile would have done anything with it. So what is his challenge? Because they know the long will not walk. So he's ex. He was he was he was denied everything. He said it was an empty Bulong van. Empty Bulong van. And uh, that he was there, he saw it, he wasn't. But the same Bola Metinopo said whether he saw anybody. He's using his money as he likes. So they people lies a lot. And you get them to lie. All right. Thanks for calling. We've got Tony on the line. Hi, Tony. Yeah, Sandra. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from the U.S. Welcome. Yeah. Um, the answer is very simple. 
during or surely those that could remember if you can find that video and play tinubu said something in yoruba he said teka teo teka teo means you will only collect money if you vote that is what he said in Russian states mm. that is what the cut the whole means mm. so that's why he's affecting him now because there's no way there's no how he'll be able to pay those people so that Russian states answers your question mm. those that could play back the video will remember mm. other people will be no they give she should we don't have money to give i don't know about article but he in particular that's the only language he understands that's why he's crying Okay. Thank you, Sandra. No, no, Thank you very that. much for calling, Tony. Okay. 99.3, hello. Hello, Sandra. How you doing? What's your name, sir? I'm good. How are you, too? I'm okay. Uh, to me, to know who is playing my game. Okay. He, you know what way he's trying to express himself? It's like a comedy. But... The question I asked first was, why is he the only one they are denying? When they deny him to become the slag bearer, he said the Milocon. When they deny him to come to some places, Olule. Now, the petroleum, is he the only one? Other people, other persons, other flag bearers, we are there now. So let everybody, everybody is on the race. And like they themselves say, forget about the bullion one. What you do, what you sow, you will reap. Thank you. Okay, all right. We've got Smith in a Ikeja on the line. Hi, Smith. Yeah, good, good evening. Good evening. This is Ida Smith. Smith, welcome. Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, you know, in politics, they said no permanent friend, no permanent enemy. During the time of Buhari, that was when the bullion run happened. And Mr. President uh, is aware that this man is having excess money. And, you know, Buhari is trying to leave a legacy in Nigeria while he retires. So the only thing he can do to Nigerians is to see how he can you know, take away this excess fund from these people. So he knows what he's doing and he knows exactly he, who he was going. If you listen to his uh, 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 speech, he said, we're not going to allow anybody to mobilize resources or talks to intimidate people. So he knows what he was doing. Thank you. All right, Smith, thank you very much for calling. 99.3, hello. Hello? Hello, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, sir? Yeah, Ezekiel from the Quelegos. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ezekiel, call back if you can. 99.3. Hello. 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 Thanks for calling. Yeah, first time caller. Hey, <laughs> okay. welcome. All right. Uh, like, uh, okay, let me cool down the excitement. <laughs> the thing is this, uh, <laughs> the thing is this uh, you know, like, I, uh, how, like, um, self study stuff. It is a no fact, you know, um, a lot of bribery happens. A lot of um, people, people like kind of, you know what I mean, you know, bribe during the elections. People ask for money. People are expecting money and everything. Uh, and uh, I think that's the culture of, um, of elections. You know what I mean, if we have to face facts, mm. everyone knows it. It's mm, that, um, mm, mm, open truth. Mm. So, like, uh, you know, it's, um, it's, it, it's really going to affect the group because that's, the work, that's what he really knows how to do. And to be fair... People really, um, in courts, there are some sections of people that really appreciate it. Although they don't, um, they don't really, um, they don't really come on the radio like that. But some people actually appreciate the fact that he spends money and, um, you know, and um, it's like a hero to them. So um, I think um, based on that, uh, <laughs> um, it's going to affect him. So he was right that um, they want to really um, sabotage, sabotage him and really holy mm. him, you mm. know, because he's the one that's going to give the largest. Okay. That's what I feel. Okay. All yeah. right. Thank you for calling. First time caller, 99.3. Hello. Hello. Hello, Sandra. Thanks for calling. What's your name, sir? Yeah, my name is Sonny Okafo. Sonny, welcome. Yeah. Um, you see, uh, uh, let me start from my local government. 
where um, Ayodele comes from. Ayodele has been from, um, he's been um, uh, the good boy of uh, Ashiwaju, right from Lasu. From Lasu to Amu World of Local Government as a local government chairman. Now heading to National Assembly. There is nothing else he could do than what he has done. But one funny thing about it is that they forgot to know, or he forgot to know, that Asiwaju is no longer just a Lagos man. All this uh, Jankara lies is no longer fit for Asiwaju's uh, image making. That was what they were doing locally here. But Asiwaju is now heading to the national, heading to the nation. So coming to tell this bloody lies, has not, he has not done any good work for Asiwaju, even though he has benefited all his life as a young man to that to where he's going to. But this what he did now is too bad for him. And you see how the how how he will be treated because the lie is so open that everybody is seeing it. Then coming to um the issue of uh, uh, redesign and um, uh, fuel scarcity. You see, eh? when what goes around must eventually come around. All along, this government has failed and been doing all sort of nonsense. And the nobody stands up to, especially from the Aswaju uh, camp, Aswaju uh, himself. They have not come up to say, look, um, you are not doing well, even though it's your party. You can still criticize the president and tell you are not doing well. Now, the thing has come around. You see how he's spending him. And he's spending him because he, he, he is the one who is going to pay. Listen, he, he has a lot of consequences, pulling boots to pay for whatever uh, pulling agent that is there. He requires a lot of money to run around all the whole nation. He is the one who requires so much money to run this election. There is no gain saying that, yeah, I don't need so he requires money, he requires wealth, he, he, he needs him more than any other one because his constituency and his party is in power. They can maintain pulling with all over Nigeria. But now he's looking at it. How do I go about paying the pulling agents and what have you? And it, it, it is truth and it is wearing him on the face. But he, he, he could not do it earlier. It's now that the, government, the failure of the government is staring him on the face. And on his own ambition to become Mr. President that is talking. Too bad. Too bad, my dear. All <laughs> right. Thank you for calling. Let's take a look at messages on social media, shall we? Uh, we've got uh, this message here from Ola Komi Landre. Ola Komi says, Tinubu has said the obvious. I will only advise you, Sandra, to be objective in the way that you are looking at this issue. It's as if you're working for PDP or LP. Yay. Were you not here the day I talked about uh, articles SPV on Tuesday? Are you, are you, are you, are you not embarrassed that you're tweeting rubbish while be sending me rubbish on WhatsApp? Were you not here when I was hammering the PDP guy about articles SPV? Were you not here when we talked about uh, doing your uh, lo- money laundering? Or you just, your, your body is just peppering you, you know? Larry, drink water. Yeah? Drink water. We've got um, Okerube in Cotton who says, I want to advise... Okay, no, no, no. That's actually not a message for this conversation that we're having. Okay. Here's a conversation for us. Um, this message here is from Ade from Suleri. Oh, I've missed reading from Ade. <laughs> Ade says... A uh, typical political jobber, Mr. Ayodele's excuse was the weakest, dumbest defense and contradiction of the highest order. Tinubu and his handlers are just goofing and making a mockery of themselves. Everything about uh tinubu has been based on nothing but massive lies 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 i don't know how anyone in his or her right senses defends such indefensible lies i'm highly disappointed and disturbed 
by such massive lies and contradiction, such pathetic comedy and lies. Lagosians and Nigerians, shine your eyes. Can we really trust people to rule us uh, after they've seriously failed us completely? Enough is enough. God bless Abiyo Kuta Ogun State. Same Abiyo Kuta is the venue where he made his comedy act. Tinubu and his gang really shot themselves desperately in the foot by throwing the president and his party under the train or bus. Shocking, pathetic, disgraceful and embarrassing. Nigerians, we need to be much wiser than all of these people. The speaker needs to be very careful with his actions against the CBN governor as this is becoming very personal in support of his Emil Okong godfather. Whatever has a beginning must surely have an end someday. Um, Nigeria, uh, it's a shame that the speaker is trying to defend his principle with everything about him based on nothing. Nigerians, please, please, please shine your eyes. That's a message from Ade from Suruliri. Ade is always on fire every time he messages me. Okay, this message here says uh, from Taufik. Taufik is in Itiwe. Whew. Oh, sorry. It's really hard for me to breathe today. Sorry. Um, Taufik says... And Shiwaju is an obvious, uh, oh, well, that's a, a huge allegation. So I'm not going to be repeating it because we don't, <laughs> you don't have proof of that. Uh, here's this message. Uh, the last caller spoke my mind. What goes around comes around. What we need is free and fair elections, nothing more. All right. Thank you, Lanre. We have uh, this message from Papa Jay in Bagboro. Papa Jay says, Tinubu is crying wolf where there are none. He has seen the handwriting on the wall. Buhari said no money back politics. And that is what is happening. Out of 18 contestants, why is he the only one complaining? We'll hear more when Lagos is won by PDP. All right, Papa Jay. Thank you for your message. We'll take a break. When we come back from this break, I'll take more of your thoughts on number one, PVC collection, how that is going. It's 30 days, exactly 30 days to the general elections. Everybody's tense. And then I'll hear your thoughts on uh, Tinubu's claim that fraud crisis and Naira redesign are targeted at him. So the way you this is... <laughs> Where that criminal? Eh? You must pay my rent today. I beg you to your loan. Before you carry this criminal go, make him pay my rent first. Oh, <laughs> oh God, landlord. They know they carry me go anywhere. In fact, eh, now my personal security be this. My life don't change. Uh -huh. Your wife been tell me, say, when I won't sell the house for 150 million naira. Take up. Now the cash be this. Yeah, na lie yo. Na true, oh, God, landlord. With the one win for Mega Millions Niger Lottery. <laughs> my life will change, yo. Oh. Mega Millions Lottery. Eh, hey, will be sonny. How are fit play now? Oh, now nah, don't hear him. Oh, yeah, sharply visit www.megamillionsniger.com to register, play, and win. This message is brought to you by Mega Millions Niger. Play it, win it. Not for those under 18. Nigeria, now we got the episode of the party. Now, one more thing, I tell you. At last, the elections are here. Let's turn out en masse all initiative and vote Ashwag Bola Tinubu as president of Nigeria for a renewed hope and a better Nigeria. Vote APC, the party that shows a broom. Hey, my name is Alex. Uh, I've been a content creator for a while now, and I always try to innovate to keep my audience entertained and engaged. When 5G came into Nigeria, I thought it was all noise, you know, like the normal hype, gang gang, and all that noise. But <laughs> boy, was I wrong. Because I've hosted virtual concerts, partied with my followers in the metaverse, created skits with creators in other countries without ever having to leave my room. I can shoot a movie without being on set. <laughs> now that's a godsend. With all the money I've spent on cabs this year, <laughs> If there's one thing 5G has done right, I'd say it's made it easier for me to do me. With MTN 5G, it offers hyper-fast internet speeds, seamless buffering and applications that can only be possible via its quality data capabilities. No P2P, not MTN 5G. Now available on iPhone, MTN. What are we doing today? At last, the elections are here. 
Let's turn out en masse on election day and vote Ashua Jubola Tinubu as president of Nigeria for a renewed hope and a better Nigeria. Vote APC, the party that shows a broom. Everyone is at the table for lunch. Mom is bringing in the jollof rice and then... Hey. John! Sorry, Mom. Hello? Can I order some jollof rice to be delivered? Mama saves the day. Lunch is here. Mom, I got some coke too. Just come and eat, Joe. <laughs> Cook up memorable moments because family lunch and an ice cold Coke make a recipe for wonder. Coca Cola, real wonder. Imagine a life with zero worries. Imagine a world where you're blessed and free. Where all your dreams become the state financial reality. club zero worries when it's time to pay your bills. Rent, school fees, and vacation. We'll be here making it easy for you. Visit our website www.pagefinancials.com or call 017007213. Page Financials taking you forward. My people live that time once again. How my chance yet again? So my people who don't flow. You got to take good care of your skin. Got to check for your skin so it's not like sandpaper. Make sure you rub your hands, rub your hands, oh yeah. Make sure you rub your legs and your face, oh yeah. Vaseline, everything so smooth. Vaseline. Vaseline Petroleum Jelly shields you from the harsh effects of hammer time. Created to lock in moisture, Vaseline keeps your skin smooth, soft, and protected. So soft, effective Vaseline. Uncle Dentist, what are cavities? And how does Colgate protect my teeth from cavities? Does it use Kung Fu? <laughs> no, dear. Most tooth pains are caused by tooth holes called cavities. When you brush daily with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, its expert formula locks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavities. It's time to upgrade to the world's most chosen toothpaste, Colgate, because Colgate locks calcium in... Yes, cavities! Colgate is recommended by the Nigerian Dental Association. Advanced Lafayette Microfinance Bank brings you New Year Bumper Series Promo 2023, where you stand a chance of winning several household items such as freezer, blenders, gas cookers, and recharge cards. You also get an additional 50% interest. Wow! To qualify, simply open a savings account with us and maintain a minimum balance of 5,000 naira in the account. Existing customers with dormant accounts can visit visit any of our branches to reactivate their accounts, maintain a minimum of 10,000 naira, and stand a chance of winning these mouth-watering prizes. Terms and conditions apply. For more inquiries, call 0700-023-8267. Advance. Growing together. Some people say tech is the new crude oil, and others say tech is in the future. With ALX, tech is here and here to stay. ALX is your career accelerator built to give you in-demand global tech skills and access to a community that provides lifelong learning, lifelong networks. Register on www.alxafrica.com as the programs are fully funded for a limited period. Unlock possibilities with ALX. Thanks for calling Bastion Since HMO. Since I signed up with Bastion HMO, I don't worry about hospital bills. I get access to top quality health care and still save enough for other things. They even help me book my doctor's appointments. Bastion HMO also gives me access to over 1,700 hospitals and clinics with the freedom to switch whenever. I feel so in control of my finances and health. Call 0800 Bastion or visit www.bastionhmo.com to purchase a plan that suits your needs. Bastion Health, the HMO that puts you in control. Everyone is at the table for lunch. Mom is bringing in the jollof rice. And then... Hey. John! Sorry, Mom. Hello? Can I order some jollof rice to be delivered? Mama saves the day. Lunch is here. Mom, I got some coke too. Just come and eat, Joe. <laughs> Cook up memorable moments because family lunch and an ice cold coke make a recipe for wonder. Coca-Cola, real wonder. You are listening to your number one station for talk. Your number one station for talk. 99.3 99 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. You're listening to Hard Facts on 99.3 Nigeria Info. <laughs> Bliss. <laughs> I just read Blizz's message on um what's it called? What's the word? WhatsApp. <laughs> 
If you just tuned in, hello to you, Lagos. Uh, you're listening to uh, Standard Eyes Across the Nigeria Info 99.3. And my big question before the break was, is Tinubu crying foul or crying wolf? The candidates are ramping up their appearances. They're trying to tune small minds. It's exactly 30 days until the general elections on February 25th. It's one month away. One month away, we're in the final month. Tensions are high, voters are tense, INEC is tense, candidates are tense. For some of you, the final piece of information to help you decide how to vote is what you're looking for. And that's what I'm here to give you. So we talked about angry voters protesting against INEC in Ibu Kyosa. And then uh, we talked about Tinubu claiming sabotage. Do you agree with Tinubu? Have you tried to pick up your PVC uh, at Ikiosa specifically? Were you successful? On Eyewitness, we got reports that Inoshodi Isolo, um, police fired tear gas because voters got really, really, really aggressive with trying to pick up their PVCs. What has the experience been like? Zero seven zero zero nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three. Tinubu says that uh, the Naira redesign and the fuel scarcity are targeted at him. Okay, all right. Thank you very much for listening to that. Uh, and uh, like I said before the break, when we talked about it on the Big Three, I asked you whether uh, Tinubu is suggesting that the president, a president who's from his party, is working against him because the president is a petroleum minister. And also, the president has come out to say he supports the Naira redesign and there's no going back on the deadline. Is he crying foul or crying wolf? PDP is saying Tinubu is using style to remove himself from Buhari's performance. Do you agree? Femi Bajabia Miller, Tinubu's ally, is threatening to take action against the CBN governor if he doesn't appear before the reps to defend the Naira redesign. And again, like I asked before the break, I will ask again. In what ways can these policies work against a particular candidate and not another? If Tinubu is correct and this Naira redesign is intended to stop him and only him, what is it that is different about his own campaign that will make the Naira redesign affect only him? Zero seven zero zero nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three. Could you please call me Feta? Oh yeah, no, thank you. Ninety nine point three. Hello. Hello. Thanks for calling. What's your name, sir? Yeah, I'm Collins. Collins, welcome. Thank you. This chap is only crying wolf. Okay. He hasn't got anything to give to the country. Okay. And he's just being, you know, I don't know how to call it. He's only being funny. That's all I'll say to him. Okay. All right. All right. Have Thank you for calling. Have a good evening. 99.3. Hello. Good afternoon. What's your name, sir? Yeah, is this Ken calling from the Central Coast? Welcome. Uh, Sandra, Tinubu is down. He has not cleared the ground. Okay. And the fact remains that uh, uh, there is an adage that says that in Yoruba, only uh, entire food 
extremely con something like tete you know me what, what i'm trying to draw from this conversation mm -hmm. or from my addict is mm -hmm. what, what what gives you insinuation that is because he wants to enter that that warranted the scarcity of the naira and even the scarcity of wealth for me i presume and i believe that he has hand in it that is why he seems he, he, he wants to like you know maybe give us that impression that you know he is not part of it can you get what i'm saying uh -huh. can you get what i'm saying i'm getting what you're saying yes <laughs> because none of the none of the because is he, is he even your party that is there Mm. While all this is still going on, so what are you trying to, you know, uh, uh, sell up? You know, that is not what, what we need. We we know who is who, and we know who can deliver. Because the fact remains that they said he who wants to, he wants to recommend a cloth to someone, he will first look at the one he's wearing. Do you get us that 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 that, 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 that is? I'm trying to follow. If I must recommend a cloth to you, you will need to look at the one that is on me. So what I'm trying to, you know, say in, 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 uh, in a brief is just that. If you want people to actually believe that you are capable of doing something, before you get there, they are supposed to have been seeing some traces that justify that. Yeah, when you grab this power, you can surely, as in, you can surely deliver much more than what you are seeing. Actually, they speak louder than voice. Okay, all right, you, nice you too. Thank you very much. Um, okay. Uh, we've got uh, Sheikh Yakubu who says, thank God Nigerians know uh, those working for the people who stole money under Jonathan. With all the news Dino was doing, they and their followers see nothing in that. Is that not the people that will be appointed? Okay. All right. I guess, you know, you're not here when we talk about those things. That's on you. Uh, Sandra, if you try to listen to Tinubu's speech in Benue today, you will get more understanding of what he meant by what he said in Ogun yesterday. Taiwo from Ikeja saying, Taiwo, I haven't listened to the speech. Tell me what he said now. Huh? Can you send me a WhatsApp message of what he said? Thank you. Kadiri says, Nigerians vote wisely. If you sell your vote, you go suffer the one way past the one way with the face. Uh, uh, my PVC is not found even when I logged in on the INEC website same thing I've sent messages that I got from their website to INEC Twitter page waiting to hear from them those from Etios local government whose PVCs were not found has anyone received their own well yours is a special case so if you're not seeing it on the website it's probably it probably oh that's actually an old Okay. Uh, Sandra, I was at Etiosa today it, uh, and it wasn't uh, an easy exercise we were, so we were told that the cards can't be found, but thank God, after several weeks of trying, I got my PVC today. Hey, yay, okay. The message I was reading was from earlier this year. Okay, awesome, yay. Uh, I wonder if Tinubu and his handlers knew they were, know that they are talking to intellectuals. They're not coordinated in any way, and um, they don't deserve to be in government prints. From Aja with that message there. Mm, we've got a line in Kabalogun who says, If you don't understand your robot, tell your colleagues to translate it for you. What Tinubu was saying in the audio you played was that PDP are hoarding the new notes and fuel to demarcate the APC. Eh, okay, thank you. We've got uh, Tony from Birmingham, Alabama. Who says Nigerians should not bother their mind uh, about supporting a presidential candidate that they do not wish their children to have the character and conduct of same candidate? All right, Tony, thank you for your message. Uh, Toby says, I have never been a fan of, of Tinubu, never. However, if I'm going to be objective, I don't think this claim is baseless. I keep on hearing Tinubu is not the only presidential candidate. Why is he crying foul? His party is the ruling party. Nigerians blame APC for whatever suffering they're facing now. Would Buhari change the currency or allow the first caste to continue if he's going to be on the ballot? Your answer is as good as mine. All right, Toby. Thank you very much for your message. We've got uh, this message here. PDP has been fighting their fight since now. It is APC's turn. Uh, God is answering Nigerians' prayers. Okay. All right, if you say so. Stanley from Okota says, The timing of the expiration of the old Naira notes and the low quantity of the new Naira printed will discourage vote buying. Lukeman from Igbejule 
Kiseki says, one of the reasons why Tinubu is complaining is because whatever hardship people feel now is as a result of Naira and false custody attributed to his party APC. This can actually affect people's decision of voting him. All right, Luke, man. Thank you for your message. 99.3. Hello. 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 Thank you for calling. Hi, Sanjay. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Welcome. This is Shade. Shade with the PVC. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know is the female line down? That's a good question. Is what? Female line. Is it down? It's down. Yes, it's down. Okay, sorry. No wonder. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Anyways, mm -hmm. so you had, you had asked two questions. Um, no, I can't remember. But the answer to one of them was that why? Okay. The whole um, fuel scarcity and money cannot obviously be a, affect him only. I think it would affect all of them. Mm-hmm. Which is why I think Femi Bajamira is personally, because the politician, they, the old way of politicians is they spend money. So if, you know, MFLA is saying, no, we're changing it, then they're going to feel like they're affected. Hmm. And the other question that, I mean, which not doesn't really make sense, but where, why would Tinubu say, because whatever, if Nigerians look at the party, like, you know, oh, APC is the one who's letting us queue for fuel, you know, can't get our PVC easily, you know, there's no money and all that, then they'll blame the party and then they won't vote for APC. Okay. So okay. that's why I, I, I don't personally think. But, you know, if you talk to a lot of APC supporters, they're telling you mm. that, you know, the comment he made is against Ipman. I said, okay, if the comment he made for feud is against Ipman, then what is the one about money? Because that's CBN, right? Mm -hmm. If you say Ipman is a, is a, you know, is a group of people that are holding the country ransom. Mm. Okay, Emi Selenko, I mean, y'all need to put your stories together. <laughs> <laughs> Shade, thanks for calling. We've got Kane Day on the line. Kane Day joining us from Finland. Hi, Kane Day. Hi, Sandra. Welcome. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Sandra, mm? please, you see this uh, APC book that is there. Uh, when it comes to opposition and propaganda, mm. they are the best one. They are the best at it. They okay. are very good at it. <laughs> okay. In fact, I would have said they should just remain as opposition so that they can always oppose the ruling. See as they see as they are attacking PDP again. <laughs> <laughs> PDP not so far, and they tell you, is, is it PDP that is that is ruling now, that is government? Mm. Um, uh, I tell you, and you are not the only one. Though. Sheriff has come under attack. Oh. Uncle Jimmy has come on, has come under attack. Oh. Anybody that talks about APC, like you, you are, they are they go fire you. <laughs> eh? So it's not it's not they are very good at opposition. <laughs> Qu questions to be raised. Right. Why is Tinubu complaining that about the Nera design? How is the Nera redesign connected to election? Because I don't. Is it telling us that he needs money to? rig election or what because i don't understand the correlation between a narrow redesigning and an electoral uh, exercise that's supposed to be done except there is something that it needs the money for secondly a lot of things has been going on in seven years of this this uh, apc government mm. you remember the or war or war massacre and things like that yeah sinobu never said anything against this Government and all this is well, look, he was he was saying it, mm. but it came to his time to be president. He's now complaining, shouting that PDP and uh, in fact, someone someone even said on Twitter that it's it's uh, uh, Atiku and Obi. Mm. <laughs> oh, but that one shocked me. <laughs> so, 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 so I don't understand these people. They just they should just need to if they want to be opposition, they should just tell us they want to be opposition because I don't understand how APC can be opposing APC again. It's it's just so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Indy, thank you for calling. Okay, all right. The the the, the last three minutes and uh, next uh, ten minutes of this show uh, brought to you uh, courtesy Unicaf. Unicaf is the leading online higher education provider. Uh, we'll take a break here from our sponsor Unicaf, and then when we come back, we'll take more of your calls. Unicaf is here. Unicaf offers you a generous scholarship opportunity to obtain an internationally recognized master's degree online with Liverpool John Moores University, the ninth best university in the UK, based on Unicompare Top 100 ranking with 86% satisfaction rate in teaching and learning excellence and impressive 97% student recommendation rate. 
Are you interested in becoming part of this community? Call or WhatsApp us at 07000 111 000. 07000 111 000. And our student advisor will help you jumpstart today with Unicav. You can. Thank you, Unicaf, for bringing the final 15 minutes of today's show, of uh, today's uh, segment of Road to 2023 to you. We'll come to you on the phone lines 99.3. Hello. Hello, good evening, Mr. Good, good evening, sir. Yeah, you asked Taiwo on the line. I'm the one that sent the message to you. Uh huh, Taiwo, thanks for calling. What's the number set today? So, mm. firstly, let me first go against my, my twin brother, Tende. <laughs> from Finland. Okay. You know? Okay. Uh, I can put it to you, Sandra. Mm. If you say anything against obedient, you will train for a month. Okay. So, I disagree with him that maybe if you say anything about it, they will come after you, this and that. Mm. Okay, what Tenubu said today in Benue State, he said, mm-hmm, he mm-hmm. talked about PDP. Okay. And he said, mm. when they are in power, mm. they, they, uh, they arrange a, an oil block to themselves. Mm. Now they are using it against this government. Mm. My question now is, why is this open state that Tenubu make that statement? Mm. Abba Sanjo is there. Abba Sanjo have an oil block there. Okay, but I thought so, he says in Benue. I thought he says in Benue he made it. Hello? I thought he said it was in Benue that he made the statement about oil blocks. Uh, about oil block, and I said, why is it he uttered the statement he made in Ogun State yesterday? He have a reason for it. Okay. I know he's talking to somebody in Ogun State. Ah. At the Ogun State. Okay. So, about Emefile. Mm. Emefile is part of PDP. I think it was during the PDP era. Uh, during the matter mm. that it was uh, he was put there as the governor of Central Bank. Okay. That is why he was saying what what Nubu was saying is that there is another government mm. on that APC government. Mm. That is what he meant. I see. Not that he's talking against uh, against a uh, Boagi. No. Mm, okay. Although uh, President Sandra, mm? we is not possible for us to know what is going inside that presidency. Than them, but oh. they are they are inside there. Of course, they can't know more than them. Abby? For them to call for Tinubu mm. and APC to mm. come out and say something like that, mm. that means they know there is something going on inside mm. that party, inside nice. presidency there. So you don't think it's because he's trying to dissociate himself from the president? You said you don't think it's um, like PDP said that he's trying to dissociate himself from the presidency's admin. You don't think that? I don't that's think. Easy? I don't okay. think. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling. Now, before we take a few more of your thoughts, I've got information to share with you. Yeah, UNICAF is a global educational organization uh, with headquarters in Europe, and they offer bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in a full spectrum of disciplines through the British partner universities, as well as the leading UNICAF university in Africa. Now, UNICAF helps students substantially reduce their tuition fee by at least 75% to gain access to internationally recognized degrees. And upon completing the program, they obtain exactly the same internationally recognized degree as on-campus students. Now, if you're a professional who is interested in career advancement, gaining skills to remain relevant in the competitive labor market is very important. And that's why UNICAF is saying with their online learning platform, you are in total control of not just your time, you can study at your own pace, you can keep your job and continue your career. What more? You will stay close to your family and friends while sitting and getting the same certificates as on-campus students. Now, so far, over 45,000 students have studied through the UNICAF scholarship and have transformed their lives and careers. So, in order for you to talk to a student advisor about your eligibility uh, for a partial UNICAF scholarship, call WhatsApp 07000 Again, that's WhatsApp 07000 
And of course, UNICAF is proud to also partner exceptional universities like Liverpool, John Moores University and the Liverpool Business School, which recently ranked ninth best university in the United Kingdom based on the UniCompare top 100 ranking. More specifically, UNICAF uh, also is partnering Liverpool, John Moores University. And of course, they are really looking to see how students who enroll can score high levels in their course uh, as well as have quality uh, in terms of learning and they have also satisfied so many students with the course material teaching as well as learning resources. In addition, UNICAF is also in partnership with the University of East London known for being among the top modern universities in the United Kingdom. So students can obtain top IT industry degrees, oil and gas management, business psychology and a whole lot more. Also, the University of Suffolk, absorbing the best of UK university tradition students, can take advantage of top-up BSc in international nursing, masters in public health, and of course, highly ranked MBA degrees. Last but not the least is the multi-campus UNICAF University in Africa, and that's in countries like Malawi, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Students can study for bachelors master's and doctoral degrees in the full spectrum of disciplines accredited by the British Accreditation Council. Thank you very much. What's that number again that people need to call if they need more information? WhatsApp for more information, just WhatsApp the number 07000 triple one triple zero. Again, 07000 triple one triple zero thank you so much unica for bringing this show to lagos uh, the final 15 minutes of this show at least to lagos and uh don't forget after this conversation we're having now about the road to, to uh february 25th from 6 15 we get to conclude that conversation we started on tuesday about a husband who banned his wife from sending money to her family. Jamu in Agege said, please, I didn't hear what Tinubu said. Please play it again. Okay, all right. Uh, do we have time to play it again? Oh, we have three minutes, and I would like to uh, take maybe one call, maybe two. 99.3. Hello. Hello, thanks for calling. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening, what's your name, sir? All right, my name is Nunan. Welcome, go ahead. Uh, I just want to speak um, to... The comments um, Sinimbu made with respect to the poor scarcity. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the poor scarcity, I think, um, from my own um, view, mm. it is the longest or well, one of the longest poor scarcity periods we've had okay. um, since 1999 thereabouts. Right. And if Buhari were to be on the ballot, mm. would he have allowed this to continue like this? Mm. I think that is one thing we need to think about. Okay. And let's not forget what played out prior to the primaries of the APC. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay. So it is possible that um, those within are trying to disintegrate the party. But but how come this thing would be targeting Tinubu only and not, say, Kwankwaso, Atiku... Uh, P2B, why is it why would it affect Tinubu but not these other major candidates? It, it's an APC, yeah. If the party APC is um, the rule is the power, is the one the ruling power. party, mm -hmm. ruling. Mm -hmm. you understand, right? So, um, definitely, whatever affects the people now, mm. the suffering the people are going through now, mm. nobody will say anything good about that party APC, right? And of course, the last time I checked, um. Tinubu mm. is on the ballot for APC. But before now, people have been yeah. talking about, be, you know, suffering. They've been talking about insecurity. They've been talking about all kinds of things, you know. Yes. And the campaign has done its best to say, well, uh, it's not Tinubu that did it. He wasn't in office. So w why does he think that that will change? Why is that song changing because now? It will because this is an election period and people will decide. Mm. Yes, people mm. will decide whether to still go with the party, mm. even though it's another candidate that is going to be on the ballot, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or to go for another party entirely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So whether we like it or not, mm -hmm. it's going to affect him. 
All right. Thank you very much for calling. I wish we had more time to stay on this, but we don't. We have to bring you the news at 6. Now, after the news at 6 o'clock, it'll be time for the step down. On the step down, we cool things off significantly. We step away from current affairs and things get a bit more personal. And um, we started a conversation on Tuesday about this man who only allows his wife to send money to her parents um, every Christmas and Easter and refuses to let her send money any other time of the year. This is a woman who works, who brings money home, who pays bills in the house, who has her own savings, and she has enough saved and enough extra that she wants to be sending money every month. But her husband's tradition demands that she must collect permission from him before she can do it. And she says that... She, he just never allows her to do it. And she's cried. She's begged. The husband simply refuses to let her do it. We'll talk about it after the news. It's six o'clock. Don't go away.